Hey YouTube, I'm Sharon Polk. This is Practical Tips and Tidbits from an indie author. And we're back. I hope you had a great week. I did. I hope you've been working on your poetry and your short stories and your focus. And now we're going to add yet another tip, pre-marketing. Now, I know you're thinking that's over the top to be thinking about that now. I haven't even started writing my book. It's a little premature, <laughs> but it's not. Actually, pre-marketing should be done about a year in advance of the launch of your book. So today, we're going to talk about tips and tidbits to allow you to have a successful pre-marketing campaign so that you can have a successful book launch. Let's do it. The first stop on our pre-marketing journey is blogging. Blogging is easy and effective. It's like an online journal. You'll write, people will write things back to you, and it will create a conversation about your book, about your characters, about yourself. Now, if I was going to blog, I would do it on maybe Priscilla, who is a character in my second book, Darkest Before Dawn. And maybe I would have her going out on dates. Now, I would include someone who's actually in the book, but I wouldn't include actual information from the book. I would create auxiliary information about the two characters. And so by the time you launch your book, people would know who she is, know who he is, and either like them or dislike them, but they would be so intrigued or interested, they would buy your book. You can put pictures on your blog, you can put gifts on your blog, you can put, you know, text of course, you're going to talk, you're going to write about things on your blog. You need to be consistent with your blog, so if you're going to do it weekly, do it weekly, but consistently, if you're going to do it daily, do it daily, but watch out because you want to be consistent, so you don't want to be eager and say you're going to blog every day and then you can only really blog once a week. You don't want to promise or over promise and not be able to deliver. Blogging. My second tip on the pre-market journey dun, da, 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 is an email list. Now you have this website already because you're blogging so why not use it to make an email list. When people stop by your website ask them to leave their email addresses. You collect those email addresses and then you use those to send out notification about your book. Pre-information about your book or about your book launch so that when you have your book launch all of the people who have signed up and are interested because of your blog they can come. It's a win-win. Podcast, create a podcast or just interview on one. It can be a friend, it can be a leaders podcast but you can get on there they're always looking for reasons to talk to community leaders they want to know what you're doing they want to know what positive things are going on in their community and their local area so reach out to someone do a podcast get your information out there share your information with the world before you launch your book this is how you have a book launch with people there and you're not by yourself partner with groups partner with organizations, partner with individuals that are as passionate as you are about your subject matter. They may allow you to have a book launch at their facility. They may put your information on their website or a link from their website to your website. The possibilities are endless, but you won't know unless you reach out and see if they will share your information on their information, on their forum. Because they may have a platform that you don't have. But you'll have access to that platform if you partner with them. It's never too early to start getting feedback on your novel. But once you finish your novel and before you launch it, you may want to reach out to a professional organization and get someone to do a review so that when you launch your book, you'll already have reviews on your book. There are organizations that you can check out on the web that will actually review your book and give you feedback. This will help when you're trying to sell it. Another pre-marketing tool is just simply talking about your book. It's easy. Talk about it to your family. Talk about it to your friends. Talk about it to strangers on the street. Or talk about it to groups of people. If you do seminars or conferences, start to slide information about your books in your presentation. People need to know what's going on with you and you need to feel comfortable talking about your book. Don't shy away from it because you're afraid that you won't start it or you won't finish it. It's not about that. This is not only pre-marketing, but this is also a tool to help you to stay on task 
and to keep writing that book because now you've talked about it you've put it out there so you have to do it so start talking about start socializing your book that's pre-marketing and that's getting you to simply do it last time we talked I know we talked about scheduling and so in scheduling you have to have a calendar and so I'm going to suggest that you also keep a calendar for your pre-marketing activities your strategy your planning what you're going to do have entries on your calendar to keep you on task for that entire year this is what I'm going to do the first month. This is what I'm going to do the second month. And this is what I'm going to do two weeks before my launch. This is what I'm going to do the day of my launch. Put all of your pre-marketing information on your calendar. I know it's a lot of pre-process. I told you it was a lot of pre-process, but it is important. Because if you want to sell that book after you finish writing it, you're going to need to do these things. If you want to be successful and you want to actually write this book, you really need to do these things. Everything that I am talking to you about, every tip, every tidbit, is essential in writing your book. You don't want to write a book and nobody's buying it. But you don't want to write a book and you don't have an audience for it. You don't want to write a book and you don't have any customers or clients. You don't want to write a book and you don't have any interest. Don't start marketing your book on launch day. It'll put you so behind in sales. Don't forget to subscribe. If you would like to be notified when I post a video, click the notification bell and you will be alerted. I post every Friday. My books are available on Amazon.com. There's a link below if you're interested. Also below are affiliate links. If you click on an affiliate link and you buy something, I will receive a small commission. Don't forget to check out my website, novellasbysharon.com. There's information on me and my books, and there's a link below for that. And don't forget to check out the next video, which is tip number four. Grace and peace. See you next week.